What's going on YouTube? It is your boy Josh back with another video and as you guys can see I'm back with another tutorial you guys this is gonna be a good one my client hasn't had a cut in a while so let's get right to it and if you guys are new make sure you go in and smash that subscribe button and turn the notification bell on let's go so as you guys can see I've started picking out my clients hair I'm getting the hair to lift up off the scalp and loosen it up to make it easier when we go down and cut all the bulk off So I'm going to kick it off with a number two guard with the lever all the way closed going with the grain. Now on this haircut I'm going to be giving him a mid fade with the top cut down to a 1.5. The reason why I started with a number two guard is because he hasn't had a haircut in a while and I want to make sure that I find his growth pattern and I check for any cowlicks. So I always go in with a higher guard than the guard I'm going to use initially to make sure that I can see anything that's wrong with the hair. So now I have on my one and a half guard and I'm cutting the hair down to the height that he wants it officially and I feel better doing it now that I cut off all the bolt using the bigger guards because now I can see his hair pattern and I can be more safe when I'm cutting his hair down. So now we're going to go into the next step of the haircut which is creating our first guideline for the fade which is the bald line and I'm using my Babyliss FX trimmers. Like I said, we gave him a mid fade, so I'm going to drop it a little bit once I go behind the ear to give the fade a lower contrast because if I wanted to give him a high fade, I would keep the line straight across, but we don't want the fade up too high, so that's why I dropped it down in the back a little bit. So right after I have the guideline set, I come in with my trimmer to soften that guideline so it won't be as harsh, so it'll be easier to blend out when I come in and do my next step. Using my wild magic clips, we're going to go in and create our next guideline. With this guideline, I'm going to go in with my clippers with the lever all the way open, and I'm going up about a half an inch. Now you want to make sure that you stay parallel to the previous guideline that we did with the trimmers. Also, you want the width of this guideline to be the same width all the way across because we want our fade to be balanced all the way around the head. So to take out this guideline, we're going to close the clipper halfway and we're going to start right up under the guideline and flick up to the guideline. And sometimes, depending on the hair texture, you might have to adjust the lever from time to time if the line is being stubborn and it's like it doesn't want to fade. But for the most part, you just close the lever halfway and you just start up under the line and flick up. It should fade out um, easily, especially when we soften the line before we came in and created this guideline. So for our next guideline, we're going to put on our number one guard, but we're going to have the lever all the way open. And the reason why I started with this guideline with the lever all the way open is because we're giving him a mid fade. If I would have started with it all the way closed, it would have made this guideline lighter. And, it, and that means that this fade would have been lighter. And that's going to kind of correlate it to a high fade. But we want to keep the fade dark around this area right here to create that mid fade transition. So I'm going to start with a longer guard and then walk my way down. And also, if you wanted to start this guideline with a number one guard closed, you could have. You just would have had to make the guideline much tighter. Now I have my number one guard closed. I'm fading down. So like I said, I went in with my number one guard open. And now I have my number one guard closed. This right here is going to create a transition for me without me having to fade up. It's creating a transition, but it's like in reverse. So this is a good way to preserve hair, to keep your hair cut controlled in the areas that you want it to be without pushing the hair up too high. And that is the main reason why I do the, my fading down technique because it helps me control my hair cut and it comes out the way that I want it to look. Not saying that you can't do it with fading up, it's just that most people kind of go up too high and their fades come out typically higher than expected. So when you're doing fades like mid fades or drop fades, fading down is the way to go. And as you guys can see right here, I have my half guard on. This right here fades out the entire guideline. It comes right after that one guard. And this just clears out that bottom of that transition, making it real blurry. So now I'm going to be doing the down fading technique. Started with my number two guard to fade the rest of this hair right into the transition that we just finished. Thank you. 
So right after going in with my number two guard, I come right behind it with my one and a half guard. And I have my lever all the way open. Now, when I'm fading down, all you do is walk down from the longer guard to shorter guard. So with me having a one and a half guard on, and I'm coming behind the number two guard, I'm creating a transition from longer to shorter. So I don't want to go up as high as I did with my number two guard, because that'll kind of cancel out the area that I cut with the number two guard to create the transition to go into the one and a half guard. So you want to make sure each guard has their own placement in the fade, but you're effectively blending the hair together. And right here I have the lever all the way closed. So I went in with the number one and a half all the way open. Then I came right behind it with it closed just to create that transition. And as you guys can see, that area around the Parado Ridge is getting softer and softer. That's because we're creating our transition by fading down. And what you guys see me doing when I'm going with the grain, I'm kind of doing a lot of detail work, just manipulating the hair, getting it to lay where it needs to so the blend can look good. So right after going in with the one and a half guard, I come back with my one guard as you guys can see right here with the lever all the way open. Now around this area, I'm kind of just bridging together the rest of the fade because as you guys seen, I just did the finishing touches of the last transition with the one and a half. So the one guard open blends it all together. So I'm doing a lot of detail work, opening and closing the lever, hitting any dark areas, going within against the grain. Some things that you have to do sometimes to get your fade to hit just like you want it to. So right here with my number one guard with the lever open, I'm going to lay down the hairs on the edge up to get it smooth, to get it prepared for the lineup. And right here, I'm going to show you guys a little clip of me like blending out his beard. Wasn't too much to kind of go into detail about because it was kind of light around the top. So it didn't really take me too much to blend it out. So right here I'm going to be applying some holding spray. This right here is going to lock the hair down on the hairline, get it to lay down stiff so it doesn't move. So when I do the lineup, it can be accurate on all the hairs. Welcome to one of the best parts of the video, which is the lineup because it brings the haircut together and it just makes it pop so swiftly. Right here I'm using my Babyliss Gold Effects trimmers. And as you guys can see, we got them sharp. Now I'm going to sit back and let you guys watch this lineup bring it to life. You guys, this is the before. You guys seen how he came in, but you know he came to the right place and your boy had to get him right. Check him out. Let me know what you guys think about this haircut in the comments and make sure you guys leave a thumbs up on this video. And if you guys aren't already subscribed, please go down and smash that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on. You can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Josh6Barber. It's your boy Josh. Peace.